Welcome back to Tineas. I'm Rob and today we're back here on our testing facility on Mars. And I'm currently looking at the new drills that's been added to the system. As you can see, they've actually did a few nice things, I would say. So, <clears throat> well, in terms of the rocket, they haven't done huge amounts of bug fixes, as you can see. The new drill head, so of course we still have the basic one, which is one what we have currently fit on our rocket. Then one which is more doable. One is better for high speed, high, which is faster to getting ice. Which is one is faster to getting material, uh, minerals. One mainly for ice. Uh, so I guess this one doesn't really work for ice anymore, maybe. Then there's one that's long term, so I guess it's hard and last, long lasting. And then there's one that's mineral. So I, f I guess this one and this one are basically the same one, but minerals and ice. And then doable long term. I'm not entirely sure, but it's it's more stuff. We love it. Now, while off camera, I've been playing around with these two, mainly this one, because it's so fun to play with. And as you can see, I'm playing around with some logic. These two are currently empty, but I've been thinking. So, when I fly, let's say I want to fly to Deimos here. I select my rocket, click on him, on Deimos. And set the destination. Then I take the one to rock to fly. But no, I have to go into the rocket. I have to click on the engine. I have to click start. And then it takes off. I didn't do it here because it didn't want to take off right now. That is very annoying. <coughs> also, same thing. If it was if it was at like this point, at the metallic field, then I would have to go in here and select survey, discovery, chart, or mine, or whatever it wants to do. Again, very annoying. If it is there, I want it to do it. If I say go to this set destination, I want it to fly. So today we are looking at a code that I've been working on, which will be doing this plus makes nice features automatically. Now it's a very long code, so I'm gonna jump through things. I'm gonna add all the things. The, the, the pre-start and then we're gonna just talk about what it is but before we get into all that we want to name stuff on the rocket so take our trust labeler fly up to this one we're gonna take the avionics and we're gonna call him rocket scanner scanner avionics and we're gonna copy that we're gonna use that quite a few times Let's take the fuel. I can't remember if I want that, but uh, tank. Yeah, let's just call it tank. And we take the battery. So right there. We move all this. We don't need that anymore. And same thing here. We don't need no, don't need this medium. We want it to be called the same thing. And of course the engine itself and the scanner here. So, rocket scanner device. No, rocket scanner. Uh, scanner. Yeah, well, uh, whatever. We'll call it something else maybe later. Who knows? Right now, we'll call that. Then we have these. We also want to call these ones. So, we call, call this rocket. Uh, um, Power, because we know this is the bit cord. Power, and we have another one for gas. Lovely. Now, we uh, oh, we need to name this as well. Very important. So name this one. So ice uh, rocket scanner. I see. And rocket. Rocket IC minor IC. That's very important. So of course now if you go in here and go to this page, you'll see here that I didn't name the uplink itself, but I named the avionics to rocket scanner avionics. And the other one is still just called rocket. So yeah, that's fine. And this one is also called Rocket Scanner Indian. I think I named it wrong maybe. Yes, yes it did. This is the one we call call engine. And 
Ah, uh, come on. This one we just call rocket scanner. Or scanner rocket. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So now it should look okay in here. So we have the rocket scanner. <laughs> and we have the rocket scanner engine. Lovely. Right, in here. We're going to add a few things. So we're going to start off with all the Ds, so all the inputs. So here they are. So we want the avionics, we want the engine, we want the scanner, and we want the miner. And we want to export that to the scanner. Yes. <clears throat> so this one can actually read from the rocket while it's in space. I don't know if it's a bug or it's because of this. I believe it's because I, I say it's because of this, but I believe it's a bug. I don't think it's supposed to. But for now, it's quite nice. It's quite it's quite nice. If if a day comes where it doesn't work, then we have to make two separate codes for what we're going to, what we're about to do. And so next off, we're going to set off a few registers. So now that we have made the first few things we want to need, uh, we want to control the engine now. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. So we're going to do a load, and we're going to load the target from the avionics. And what we're going to load here is the destination code. Destination code. <clears throat> now with this in hand, we can then do a check to see if 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 our if we have a target for our rocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, this and change it so we can use it for our status for our engine. So let's just open up our functions here, and we want to set grade then zero. So we're going to register one if a is last than zero. Now, how? Why? So status goes to be called temp in this case because it's, it's basically what it is. So we're going to do set grade zero. <clears throat> status. And we want to do target. So target is larger than zero. So 0 0.1, 0 0.0001, whatever, doesn't matter. As long as it's bigger than one, this will be one. Lovely. And then we can do set uh, engine on, and then start status. So this should be enough to send off the rocket somewhere into space. But before we do it, let's do, let's let's just close him off because he's a bit naked right now, and he's not gonna like it up there. I don't think so. There we are, lovely. <clears throat> yeah, I had a storm. Damn storms. So he is in export. He's happy. Good. Let's just fly to Mars. See what happens. Bye bye. You see how easy that was? You don't have to... Wow, that's a lot of slack. You don't have to do anything, you know, in terms of working with him. He just goes and works like a charm. Very simple, very simple little code that can control the engine. But we don't just want the engine to... We want, we want more... We want more automatic stuff. So let's, let's, let's dive a little bit deeper, shall we? Let's do a load... Avionics again. And that's not what it's supposed to be. We want. <laughs> we want another alias, another register. It's alias rocket mode R2. And we want him to be here. Around here. And we just space there. And here we want to do mode. So basically, we just read the mode of the rocket into our system. <laughs> Great. Now, what can we do with this? Well, we can control our um, scanner with this, with, the, with, with this device. So if we go over here again on this side, and we do, we, we want to, to check what mode we're in. Uh, let me see here, let me show you. So when we are at a, at a space, the place, this is zero, this is one, uh, flight will be one, two, three, four, and five. 
He's there now. Let's fly to where do we have something we can scan? I think he can scan something there. Uh, let's let's fly here. I see he goes. It's so cool. It's so nice. All right. Uh, <clears throat> enough talk. Enough talk. So we want to be able to control our scanner. Right now it's just our scanner because it's a scanner plane. We want to be able to control the scanner while we are flying. Uh, while we are just clicking like survey or whatever. So. We don't want to go back and forth. So we have the mode. So with the mode, we want to check what it is. So if you do a SGE, then we can set it to run the scanner. So if you do a SGE, and we want to do status again, because why not status? Because as you know, they will never be the same. The status, uh, no, sorry, the mode, and the target in this case will never be on the same time. So we could we can easily use the same one. No problem. So SDE and then we want rocket mode. And we know three is where we can scan. Three, four, and five we can scan. So if it's above three, we can scan. So if this is correct, then we become one. So you see the register. If A is larger than B, it becomes one. Great. So now we can do another status. So set scanner on on by the status. Nice. So let's see where we are. We are here. He is not moving. That's good. He's out here. As you can see, the scanner is off, the engine is off, everything is off. Lovely. But I want to start survey out here. Start, and he starts. That is quite cool. If I turn off, let's just turn him off again. Oh, Edel. Yeah. If I just remove this little code here, uh, if I turn this one off, okay, just to see that we're not cheating or anything, <laughs> we put him to, to, to discover again, nothing happens. Same as before, you have to go in here and click on and off. Don't want that. So click that on. And he's scanning away. Fantastic. Idle again. You don't want to scan it right now because you don't need a mother. <clears throat> now, the code we're doing, we want to control by multiple. We want to do this. We want to. How's it? We want to run the same code for multi different rockets. If they, if they have a scanner or not. So we need to bear that in mind. We, if we don't have a scanner on board, we cannot use it. Now there's a code called BDNS. So if brand to line, if device is not set. Basically means that if there's no device here, then we want to skip something. So what we're going to do is going to pop in BDNS here and put the scanner. And then down here, we're going to say no uh, scanner. And there we are. This means that if if you use this code for a miner and use the same code, then it, even the scanner part won't be registered. But this also means that we now can do the same thing. Uh, let me see here. We can do it like this. And pop him down here. No miner. And we can pop this here and take him here. So here we can put the code to handle the miner itself. So we can take the status, miner, and we want to control the miner. So the miner is similar. It's going to read again for the mode, but only if it's equal to two. So is EQ. So if a is equal at 100% equal to B, then because one. So S E Q status, and we want the rocket mode, and we want the two. Yeah, lovely. So there we have a little. Uh, let's put it down here a little code 
to handle our scanner, a little code to handle our miner, and a little quick code to handle our rocket. Lovely. Technically, technically, you could leave it like this. You, you, you wouldn't have to do anything more. He, he could fly and he could do whatever he want to. Like, click on this, he scans away. And if you, let's say, remove, nah, I'm not gonna remove, but if you removed it, he, uh, I'll show on the other rocket later. But if you moved it, he wouldn't go into error. That is basically what I'm saying. If we flew over here, uh, let's do this one. Come on, fly faster. And he has arrived. Fantastic. So here we have done some research, but here we just want to mine, and we have taken the wrong, wrong, wrong rocket. Click on mine. Nothing, no errors. That is the main thing. It's skipping the code. Of course, in here it says that this rocket, ha rocket has no mining device, but it is in. Let me just find it here. It is. Come on. It is in the mode number two. As you can see, so it is. It 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 really wants to mine, but it can't. But it does give an error. So we will set this guy off to Mars because he'll be landing soon. Now, before we do the landing, <clears throat> we want to make these automated, so you don't crash them when you take off. Because people have done that. I've done it too many times already. That's why I'm doing this. Now I realized when they're on and the rocket's not here, they're an error. And this I can use for something. <laughs> uh, come on. So we want to read the status of this umbilical cord. Let's just remove this so that's a bit more space here. So we want to read something. But before we can do any of this, we want to add a lot more here. So I'm going to add this extra bit. I'm going to add, add this extra bit. And then we will continue. There we are. I've added a bit more. So now we are on the umbilical cord. As you can see, we have status. <clears throat> we have status, we have power, we have gas, and we have shoot. Shoot, you may not have, you may have. Doesn't really matter in this case because we're using it by the hash, so it doesn't matter. It's trying to read it. If you can't see it, it just ignores it. I've then added in the name so you can name we can name them directly from here. So if you go over here and take this name so that's power and pop it in here power and we're going to take the other name like so and that's gas uh, gas here and we're just going to call this ump ump shoot so we know nobody is going to call it ump shoot and then we have the has of it, I, I notice one thing when I find these hash numbers is that when you go into the umbilical cord on the on here, uh, which one is it? This didn't work. Now it seems to be working, but it didn't work at that time. So right now it seems to be okay. It's also I can see everything now, so that's really good. What do we want to do now? We want to read stuff from. From, from this whole whole scenario. So basically what we want to do is we want to operate the umbilical cord in terms of the status of the power. The power is always there. You cannot have a rock without power. So of course gas can be there, it might not be there, who knows. And same with shoot and same with anything. So, so we're gonna load bad's name and we're gonna take the new, the new status here which is this one. And here we, we, we need to have a separate, so we're gonna call it um, um, um build status. I, I don't know if it's a silly name, I could make it call it U status or um status. Let's call it um status like this. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit smaller. Um shoot, um, 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 oh, you need a B, ah. Oh yeah, so we take ump status, probably down here, and then we want the device hash, which is the power. 
pop down here. And then the hash name. Just the home. Ah. Uh, yeah, I see why this could be confusing. Let's call it this one like this. Like so. Yes, that's better. And next thing we want to do, we're going to do error and sum. And this will read the total errors of the power, which will be one, because we only have one power called this one on this particular rocket. It, it, the chance of we having more than one is quite low. So we'll read the total amount. So what we're going to do with this, this status now is we're going to set it to zero if it's one. So set equal to zero. So how it works if it's if a is zero, <coughs> it's one. We know from this it will be one. So we're going to do status zero. Uh, is the status will become status. Very weird way to do it, but that's how I person like to do it so this will basically close the shutters the the, the pipes oh not that one so now th this this the, this line is making sure that we are zero if there's an error meaning it will close and turn off it can close turn off however we also want to verify if our status which has been checked right above is one or not so we're going to set it set greater than, and then again, the status. So we're going to check if the status is like this. There's a lot of status going on here. Slightly confusing. I know uh, my wording is a bit, eh. but with this setup now, we can then set them on and open. So set B N. And then we want to do power device name power oh, on uh, status. There we are. And same thing again. And we want to say open. And we want to do this a few times. Oh, no, that's not power. Gas, of course. But the status is the same. So open. So again here. Shoot. And sh shoot here. And another one here. Open. Does that look confusing to you? <laughs> it does to me. <laughs> but it's working. Right, export. Do we have any errors? No, we don't. It's time to land this little plane. Rocket, whatever we call it. So let's see what happens. And we have a touchdown. Look at that. Or uh, if the fire will go away. They are open straight away, meaning that there's power on here. And technically, we are charging. We are filling in with fuel. If there was something automatic here, how 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 would you do that? Well, this little software we made here just before missing one key thing. You see that state right there saying zero. That's one thing I'm gonna add here. Then the shoot thing is done. <laughs> set db setting to status there we are now what you can do over here is you can make a read you can basically read from this plus read the pressure and those two combined with some yadi who then you can actually just turn that pump on and then you can charge whenever a rocket is landed i might show that later now, next thing, there's a few things that we are still missing. That is safety. So the rocket, of course, is requiring fuel and requiring power to fly correctly. I want to be able to leave this 
computer here alone and not think about the rocket and it just flies. So to do that, we're going to add a few safety features for this whole line of code to be done. So back up in the top, we're going to do another alias. So alias fuel time uh, eight and alias battery uh, nine alias and what's the last one battery p for percentage r uh, 10. next thing we want to do is a, we want to set or we want to define some valuables basically we want to assure that we, we we know what what we need so in here which is the section we're going to change any time we want to we're going to define a home pose which is the home position and we're just going to write zero 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 for now i'll show you how to find this then we're going to define a minimum or let's just call min power let's what should we say zero point zero zero this is percentage remember and the last thing is fuel time so define min fuel time and he want 100 whatever so that this one will be debating depending on how how far away you fly all this so let's just put in a little bit so you can see because this is technically going onto the onto the store so you can see where to, to change this section is where you adjust here shouldn't you shouldn't need to adjust anywhere else down here we want to do another define of a of a string which is a bat and that is minus one one two five three zero five two six four by memory <laughs> You don't believe me, I know. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> now we want to load the fuel time. So load fuel, wow, fuel time. What did I call it? Ah, time. There we are. And we want to, of course, from that, from the Avionics, as always. And that is burn time remaining remaining <laughs> lovely and then then everything up here is complete 100 percent now we have to go down in the bottom to play a little round before we go down let's set the min oh let's just write power here and actually the home position how to find that well this is the debatable one. I prefer to have each location that's separate. So, these two is a location. This home position here is 4016. This is 41616. And so on. So if you have multiple rocket stations, you have multiple home positions. So this rocket is 4016. 16 because it's Mars. And 40, I have no idea. So here we just write 4016 home position. And then this is the one basically you're changing every time. So if it's 10, you will write fifth. Yeah, I have no idea. If you write 9, it's 4, it's, it's 408 or 9. Whatever, in that area. <laughs> Enough chattering. <clears throat> so what we want to do, we want to load our battery percentage first. Let's do the battery first. So load battery nets, because again, we want to load all the batteries. And we want to take the bat. The bat. No, nope. we want to do the battery percentage first. So load battery percentage from device name. And we want to get the name, which are here somewhere. Nope, I have not made that. Move battery. Hash. Uh, what did I call it? Something. And that should be capital. What did I call it? 
I called it rocket scanner battery. Of course it is. Let's just grab that. Rocket scanner battery. There we are. Let's just save that and then go in again. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I forgot to take it. Battery. Yes. So put it down here. And we want to load the ratio. And as you can see, average is the average of, of, of this function. And we want to load the average because we have, might have multiple batteries. So if you do load and then put zero here, we will do average. We could also write average, but word or number both goes. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some jumping into new functions here, basically. So we're going to do it like this. So that's greater than. And, and this one we could actually put it the top. Doesn't really matter. Uh, technically. Yeah, let's put it on top. Now, let's put it down here. So first thing first, we're going to check the fuel time. So mean fuel. That is not even remotely what I called it. Fuel time. And then fuel time. Where is the fuel time? So what, what we're doing now is we're taking if our fuel time, our minimal fuel time, which is this here, is higher than our actual flight time, our fuel time. If, if this one is higher than this one, there can be two reasons for this. Either we are low on fuel or we are standing still. So we do a return home. Uh, return home. This can be called anything. It's basically just a function I made because I, I thought return home sounds good. You're going to take this one and we're going to do raw. Now, over here, we're going to do a check pay. Uh, equal to zero. And we're going to do fuel time because if fuel time is less than if if it's equal to zero, that means we're standing still. If it's not standing still, if it's, if it's not equal to zero, that means we are low on fuel. That's what we're checking. So if it, if we are standing still, then we should do something here. But if we're not standing still, then we want to sit. The avionics, this one, this, the destination, destination, code. Wow, that is not, I have it awesome here. Here, we want to set this one to home position. Here, like so. And so we check, are we lower than, lower than our fuel time? If we are, okay, how much? Is we, are we zero? If we're zero, then we are lost the plane or we're standing still. And I assume we have lost, uh, we have standing still. That's what I believe. But if we have a standing still, then we are, might be scanning, mining, whatever. So we want to take power. So check power. And this one we pop in here. Now, we want to do a check of the power. So if you do BDT, brands greater than line. So if brands greater, brands greater than. <clears throat> so we want to do the bad percentage. It's greater than our actual percentage that we want, so minimum power. Then we're going to do to start. Start. So if the percentage is higher than our actual uh, min value, then we jump up to start again and then we forget all about it. If not, guess what? Then we set to home position and then we jump to start because then we're all on the way home. Uh, this one I tend to send to 30. If you fly further away, set it higher. It's up to you. So 
export that. So now that the code is done, let's just turn on the last battery. And let's test this out. So this is our rocket. <clears throat> and currently he is home. Uh, we done download, we done that now. All this looks happy. There's plenty of space to do whatever we want. With screens and all this stuff. I'm not gonna add screen to this one, not yet at least. So I don't know what screen I wanna add. So as you can see, we have both umbilical cords connected. It looks good. And let's just send him on the way to Mars, for example. They close, as you can see. No arrows there. Now we want to add this one as well, just for funsies. So let's pop this one over here to the miner, just so you can see how easy it is to set up. So we're going to put here miner. And Minor and minor rocket minor shoot Whip. shoot minor. Here I would add 41 because it is 41, and the rest I can leave as is. And he's not on export. And he is not happy. Why is he not happy? Because he probably doesn't have anything. So avionics, we want we want to go on name from thing first. So let's just take our touch label and name this one minor avionics minor rocket avionics. <laughs> Battery. Don't need that. We might need that later, actually. I have not fully made that code. It might be needed. We will see. We will see. Where is it? Here. Rocket miner. Minor rocket miner. <laughs> oh, stupid. And that one, engine. Okay, so now with that in order, let's just quickly put in some screws here. So we want to do minor rocket battery. No. <laughs> Minor rocket avionics. <laughs> Minor engine scanner. We leave as in zero. Let's see what is this. Minor rocket miner. There we are. And nothing here, nothing here. We might need to put in the tank actually for that one, but we'll see. Uh, uh, and the ump cord, so we're going to take these, that's just easier. And that is the gas, that's power. Yeah, this is shoot. And gas. Gas. Okay, so in theory, when I turn this one on, these should open if I have exported that to the right one. And they're saying this battery, yeah, that should be okay. They open what? Why do you do that? Mm -hmm. Do you have a destination set somewhere? Let's just click on it. Nope, no destination. Right, let's do a save because I wasn't really trusting that. 
And let's set him off to the Mars again. What's going on with him? Did I forget the battery rocket? Minor rocket battery <laughs> engine. Hmm. Strains. So clearly it's being told to go home, but why? That could indicate that the battery which comes from here is not being read correctly. So let's just... Yes, that is the problem. And I also just realized I, I fucked up in removing the wrong things here. Right, shall we try that again? With actually the right labeling on this time. Uh, let's put that away. And we want to send him somewhere. Let's just save again. And we take him and we send him to Phobos. That's better. And they're fine. Nothing's been destroyed. That's what we like to see. Fantastic. Now, <clears throat> now the other rocket now has been up here for a while. Let's let's play with it. Okay. Let's just. Oh, let's, first of all, let's take this one. Import. So as you can see here, the the fuel time. The the the. the <clears throat> Yeah, there's an error here, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's not true. It's, I don't know why they're coming all the time. But as you can see here, it says battery is quite high on this one. So we're going to put it quite high. We're going to put it to one. So if we put this to one, maybe it means it's 100%. And download that. He should begin to return home. Because the fuel, the, the power is too low. Let's see if it actually crashes. I wonder. <laughs> that could be quite cool. Yeah, okay. And uh, we can put that back to 30. So this will show if, if, if they are too low. Now, as you can, while, while that one is flying home, we can have a look at this one. So we click on this one. Flying out there, you can see the flight time here, 600. So let's put this one to 500 flight hours. Flight, uh, yeah, flight time. So let's take the, mm, mm, the minor here, import. Let's put this to 500. Export. And let's see, he currently has Okay, 580. Let's check 580 because that's going to take forever. Okay, we're going to fly a bit more over here. Let's see how much we have. 
Now you see that? Now it's below and it set the location to Mars Launch Mount um, Launch Mount Miner. So it's X, even though I said fly this way, it is flying home because it's below the 580. Of course, 580 is quite high in terms of flight, but in terms of safety, we now have that option. So while we're waiting for these two rockets now to return home after the power and the fuel both have depleted in testing mode, of course, we will go into this. Um, this entire code will be uploaded to Steam Workshop as before. I'll be adding, before I do, I'll be adding the storage unit for here, because obviously we need that also to open and all this stuff. So that will be opening, and also we can we can open depending on the uh, umbilical status, I think so. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to make a small video later on showing how to use this one to set up a quick uh, power. No, I can actually do that now while he's coming home. So if you want to run this system I have here and use it to to uh, refill the the, shit, the, the the rockets with fuel, it's going to look like this. And I'll I'll show it quickly. I won't show you how to set up. I'll show it like how it looks like when I set it up. So. Get ready for a little clip. So this little code here, as you can see, not a lot. A memory, a batch reader, but a logic reader, one compare, one compare, and a writer. We'll control this one, and meaning it'll fill whatever rockets we have on the system with fuel. So what we do is we read the setting of the IC chips. <clears throat> That's one thing. Then we compare a set point I've connected 42,000 with the pipe pressure, which we're doing here. Next thing, compare this status with that status. If those two are equal, mean that this one is one, the pressure is in pipe is lower than what we have over here, and the rockets are asking for fuel, then we'll start to fill up. Then, of course, we'll just write. And the setting for the batch writer will be set to maximum. So how many is there maximum? That's one maximum because there's one for me. So let's send off one to the, to the moon. Uh, to, to, not to the moon, to Mars orbit. So off, day closing, everything works nice. Good, and he's still filling up because there's still one pipe, one rocket left and we still don't have enough fuel in here. Mainly because these are running out. So that's that. Right, let's send off the next one and then he should turn off. Uh, just click on him, fly, and off he is. He's off, and they're closing. That is what I call a full automated rocket system S type thing. Lovely. I hope you learned something from this experience. I hope you can use it. Like, like I said, there's a lot of space down here below for a lot of screens and buttons and what no screens whatever you want to do lights so far i haven't had any use for it uh, i will probably add some modification potentially a extra feature in i don't know we'll see but um yeah until then we'll see what happens so um that's all today have a good day everybody see you next time bye for now